Peace. Welcome to another episode of Cold Outdoors. It's been a while since I've been at it, man. I'm glad to be back. Winter's finally over, kind of technically over, trying to get, hit some open water. So I got, a, as you can see, I got a couple of things here that I bought and that I really want to field test and show you. First item up is this little thing right here. Let me open it. All right, as you can tell, just a, some Mega Bass lures I just bought. Not gonna go into detail. I just put the color down as you can see as it pops up on the screen right now. Just give you a quick look at it. Okay, let me open this up. <laughs> Alpha, a spinning reel, a Stratic CI4 2500 G. Um, yeah, this is what I really want to field test. I just seen a lot of people use it. Nothing new. Uh, beautiful reel, lightweight. Can't wait to get on the water and test it out. That's another thing. All right, let's get it out. Let's open the big box. See what we got in the big box. Oh, careful. Ha. <laughs> Let's knock the whole thing down. It's bang down. Gotta tackle warehouse order. All right, this is what I really wanted to test out and get a feel. I nobody really test this out. Um, it's the Freybill mesh weight bag and aerator combo. As you can tell, you see it right there. This is what you get in the box. Uh, it's I really bought this because. I wanted to like keep fishing only for like picture ops um because we don't have a live well on our boat and i got a couple of spoons from um war eagle yeah that's all i bought but i really wanted to field test and get because i haven't seen anybody do a video of this of this whole thing so i'm gonna give you my whole review on this and tell you how it worked, tell you what I think about it, my opinion on it, and so as the spinning reel too. So let's get it. All right, guys, we're we're here. Got Razzle right there. We're doing it. Um, just get on the water. Told you we we're gonna field test a couple of things. Um, forgot to get the double, double, not the double D, but the D batteries for the live well. That was my fault. We was at the store. Forgot about that. Um, but yeah, here's a couple of baits we're probably going to start off with and what I got tied on. I don't think y'all got a good look at this bait. So I'm going to pull it up for you guys right now. See, it's this War Eagle Spoon, so yeah, you get a good look at it now. Yeah, that's why I be throwing, feel tight and see how it works, see do it catch fish. And um, a couple more baits I got tied on. Let's go through it. Right here we got the hat jig, half an ounce with a with a zoom trailer. We got a GV jig concept hat jig right there. God damn! Right here we have a a range tube crawl. Right in here we have a blade bait. So, cold water fish in the day. It's got a, it, 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 the, the sense of spin in the car, so. Oh, you're it's looking at four. About maybe 30, I say about 41, 42 degrees. 41, 42 degrees? Yeah. Uh, okay, that's what we're looking at. All right, so. We come back, hopefully we can catch some fish, man. Hope some big brown boys. 
two on the R, the R plus two. We're gonna see how this work. Let's see, can we catch a fish? See, side by side towards the normal Vision 110. And the, this is the normal 110, and this is the 110 plus two. See how big the lip is on that? It's a, it's a slight fatter. It is fatter, but it's just probably an inch fatter. You can put them side by side. It is the same length. Um, yeah. Color. Same color. Same bait. So, it just seems like it's a little fatter on the tail end of the bait. And broader, too. Just a broader bait than the regular 110. That's why I probably dive to to that depth, that little more extra depth in the lip. Okay. Update, we're getting off the water. We're going to another spot. This water is just too cold and this is a deep lake. So they still are in their winter homes. When you agree, Razzle? Yeah, I think, you know, in order for us to find them, I have to roll this whole bit. We don't have a basket. So. And there's not a lot of vegetation in this lake. I don't want to spend the whole day looking for them. We might as well go to a better or a hotter lake right now that's been yeah, fishing. Yeah, warmer. Well. And fishing well. It's a little warmer, so we're getting off. Oh, hold on, man. What the hell? You stuck on a tree, on a branch. That's the branch I had in my boat launch. Somebody took it out. Update. We at the new spot. <sighs> huh? Yeah, I just got my rods. That's it. Where's my rod? Your rods already there. Yeah, as I was saying, we at the new spot, and hopefully it work work out well. And that's about it. So, and we got them to field test the new live well. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Yep. Put them goddamn batteries out. Oh boy. Standing up. I know I had them in my pocket. Alright, we gotta go back to the car. Oh boy. Is that them in the car? No, I made it throw them in the bag. No, they're in the bag. It's leaking all over the place, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Hold on, hold on, bro. We'll pick it up, pick it up. Turn it around so you can open it. Uh, we can put it up underneath to your oh, seat. No, nah, because we put it in the water like that. It's not leaking. Definitely not leaking. Fit underneath the seat. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Thousands. I've never had a problem with action. To me, I have a problem with the action. Yeah, I mean, you're fishing. It's a, it's a preference thing. Yeah. Yeah, then you can't change on the fly. You always gotta fucking be tied. You're just wasting fluorocarbon line. Every time you, you tie, you don't, you lose about maybe six inches of line. You do that every two weeks. That's it, bro. You gotta re-spool every two weeks. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Got him. You wanna take this? Take this out. Take this out. Take that up. What? Don't pull it too far out. I gotta go okay. to the button. Oh, he's barely hooked, bro. I got him, man. Oh, sh bro, I'm trying to tell you. Here he go, see? There he go. Whoo! Gerard with the first fish of the day. First fish of the day. There you go. Camera's on? Yeah, it's small. But it's a start. It's a start. That's the color right there. Just a small, like, 75. 
LC, so pointer, but uh, has really good action. Really suspends really well. I don't think Vicious sells him anymore. Yeah. All right. We caught two picks. I got one. He got one. We gonna put it in the live well and see how they last during the day. Got one? Yeah, that's a large mouth. That's what I'm talking about. That's, I think the, the small bait. Oh, that's a, what in that? Oh, he's strong, dude. Give me the net. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Oh, snap. That's a good one. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good large mouth. Solid. Yes. Give me that. That's a solid fish, bro. Oh shit! Oh shit! Put him in the net, bro. Bro. Yo, he choked. Boom! That's easily. Four, five. I say five. Dude, he choked that bait. So I'm throwing a jerk bait in between two rocks, and uh, we get a nice fish in here. It's a solid fish. Let's see if I can grab him. Where's my? Where's my hold that real quick. Okay. They gonna call you a punk. You grabbing it? You grabbing it yeah, with well, lippers? You a punk? A I'm a punk, yo. You a goddamn punk, man. You see, you, oh, oh, you see those, how you lipping it? You see yo, those? they gonna call you a punk, man. They gonna call you a sissy girl. You see all those pictures with people with <laughs> trebles in their hand? You'll never see mine. <laughs> yo, you a sissy girl. Yep. <laughs> Look at this sissy girl. Trebles? Oh man, he choked this dude. <sighs> choked. You guys, I can take mine's out. Mine's okay. That's feel more solid. No, he don't. He don't. Four thirteen again. Four thirteen. Four thirteen. Okay. Same fit. This is like the same fish I caught the other day. <laughs> Update. Gerard has two bass, one pickerel. Two pickerel. Two pickerel. Yeah, that's two. Yeah, two, two pickerel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dura had two bad two picker. Thank you for no, reminding just, me. You know, I just want to make sure the numbers are good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's in two bads. I have one pick, one nice size pick. And what time is it? It is now 323. 323. We've been here since what, 10? 1030? No, 1042, something like that. 1042. Um, Turned out to be okay day. Um, What we're doing, we just. Throwing the jerk bait, covering water, seeing where we get bites at, and going back to it if we're not finding more bites. Then we're able to pick off more fish when we go back to it. So maybe that's a, what would you say that is? A pattern? It couldn't be a pattern, is it? It's, it's big, man, this is like, this is junk fishing at its best right here. We're we just throwing jerk baits, just changing sizes, changing colors. Changing the way we cast, how shallow we are. Mostly all the fish are like in five and a half, six feet of water. But like they're really uh, conjugating towards uh, the wood. So we're just focusing on, on pitching on, you know, like overhanging trees and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, you know, that's adjacent to like weed beds. That's, that's, that seems to be the pattern. But yeah, every no, day it changes. Yeah, and the smaller jerk baits, not really your big. Yeah, not the one tens. You're looking at like maybe nineties. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing like a like a ninety right now, like a ninety millimeter. Yeah. And the one tens got a couple of bites, but it seems like the nineties are a little bit more. Uh, they're hitting them more aggressively. Yeah. All right. Back to it. <laughs> Is that it, Gerard? Pretty much. That's oh, it. that's it, man. 
What'd you think? Winter fishing. Well, early spring. Uh. Still a boat. You know, caught fish. Um, we got skunk. What'd you think about the Freyville Live Well? What would you give it? I mean, it, it'll hold fish. It'll, it'll, I mean, maximum to me, it'll only hold two fish comfortably. Maybe three, pushing it. It's actually pretty good. The, the fish stay alive. Uh, you know, the air rate is kind of cheesy, but it's kind of like a, a real bad quality. But other than that, it'll keep fish alive. It doesn't leak, you know, it doesn't leak. So that's, that's always a good thing. And if you don't catch fish, you can always use it for beer. I agree. Um, I give this, um, the fish was live. They had plenty of energy. Uh, it wasn't like the, the, we had a pretty one, a pretty big picker on there, about, I'd say 24 inches, so, and another small picker. So they both was lively when we threw them back in the water. So it was no reviving them. They had plenty of energy just to swim off. So uh, to me, I give it a, I give it a out of four out of five. I give it um, I give a it a four, a four, a solid four. Yeah. yeah, I give it a four. I mean, the air raider could have been a little better. The way it's, the way it's built, it looks kind of cheap, but we really didn't have it on the whole time. You know, mm -hmm. so look, there's a golf ball. Sorry to interrupt. Look, there's a golf ball. <laughs> All the way down there. Yeah. So, yeah. That's all thing on it. Y'all want to know where to buy it? The link will be in the description below. Um, everything I use will be in the description below. It is what it is. Uh, thanks for watching, man. Hey, I'm back with one more final quick thought. All right, when you get home, make sure you rinse it out with soap and water, or you won't have that fishy smell whenever you use it. That's it.